we're going to look at uh, doing this question about finding the angle between two lines where the lines are given in Cartesian form. So we know a connection between vectors uh, or the vector equation of a line and uh, when it's written in the normal y equals mx plus b form because when we find the gradient we know that uh, related to its direction that it's moving it's about the we know gradient is rise over run and so that can help us write it as a vector. So the first thing we should do so we can find the gradient is let's rewrite each of these equations into y equals mx plus b form. So just subtracting the 2x from both sides for the first one. And so we can see that the gradient is minus 2 there. And then the second one, if I... Uh, add 3y to both sides and subtract 2 so the 2 becomes negative the 3y will be positive and divide by 3 so its gradient is 5 over 3 so as I said before we know that the gradient is the same as rise over run and so the rise is always related to the vertical movement and the run is the horizontal movement but when we talk about a vector, we refer to the horizontal movement first. So remember that's over 1. So we can say writing this, so the direction vector for this equation will be 1 minus 2. Of course, you could make it minus 1, positive 2. It doesn't make any difference. And this one will be 3, 5. Because we want the horizontal movement first. Whereas when we have the gradient, we put the vertical change first. All right, now that we have two direction vectors for these two lines, we can just substitute into the formula. So we use the angle between two lines formula. So cos theta equals a dot b all over the magnitude of a multiplied by the magnitude of b. Substituting in. Remember the dot product is just the product of the x component and, and then adding the product of the vertical component. So we'll have 1 times 3 minus 2 times 5 because the 2 is negative. All over the magnitude of a. So that's just 1 squared plus minus 2 squared is 4. And then the magnitude of b. So that's 3 squared is 9, plus 5 squared is 25. Simplifying all of that, 3 minus 10, minus 7. And then we'll have root 5 times root 34, which is 170. And then, of course, we need theta by itself, so we do inverse cos of minus over root 170 so I'm just putting oops putting that into the calculator and so I want inverse cos let's get the fraction I like this little fraction fraction that's new minus 7 all over the square root of 170 and we get 122 degrees to three significance figures okay hope that was of some help